Alam ko, para bolo po sa world. Okay. Uh, uh, good morning sa ating lahat. If you are in AMS dati, na-share ko na itong lesson na ito. So, ang tagal na nito kasi uh, I was trying to put up a lesson tapos sabi ko nakita ko ito. I-share ko nga ulit ito. Kasi ito yung isa sa mga lesson na ng, ng I think nag-a-upsum ako or apla. Uh, ito yung sinabit ko na lesson kay kay Manong for uh, ano kasi we ni-record kami noon na mag na mag-lesson tapos i-submit namin yung pinirich namin uh, including the recording. So amen. I uh, wanna share about this the parable of the weeds, the wheat and the tares. So basahin natin uh, sa the parable of the sower kasi we we you know we we learn that not all people react to the word of god diba in the same way so may mga tao na uh, they they took it with joy pero uh, dahil hindi rooted no nawala din yon so that was the parable of the sower and ang kasunod ng parable of the sower is the the parable of the weeds so basahin natin in and we have to understand that the parables are meant Uh, itong mga parables na ito inexplain lang ni Jesus sa mga ano inexplain lang ni Jesus sa mga disciples it wasn't explained to the crowd no kasi ang sabi to ni Jesus Christ uh, uh, be ever be ever hearing but never understanding uh, seeing but not believing so that's the purpose of it no because the heart of the people had become callous So let's read the the scripture in Matthew chapter uh, 13 verse 24 to 30. Sabi dito, Jesus told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while everyone was sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. When the wheat sprouted and formed heads, then the weeds also appeared. The owner's servants came to him and said, Sir, didn't you sow good seed in your field? Where then did the weeds come from? An enemy did this, he replied. The servant asked him, Do you want us to go and pull them up? No, he answered, because while you are pulling the weeds, you may uproot the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. At that time, I will tell the harvester, first collect the weeds and tie them in bundles to be burned. Then gather the wheat and bring it into my barn. So, uh, ano ba yung example dito na ito yung wheat? No? Uh, uh, alam naman natin, so ginagawa natin, ginagawa yan na, ano, ginagawa yan na uh, bread, cakes, pastries so hindi natin bis mga biscuit na kinakain natin diyan po nang gagaling yan so yan ang ano uh, in uh, 2013 uh, ang ang production niya nasa 713 tons no malaki talaga yung production niyan uh, so yun nga uh, or ginagamit na natin yan as all purpose flour okay so yan yung wheat uh, ito yung ano ito yung uh, yan yung itsura ng weeds no uh, pag ito kasi palayan naman ito so pag napunta ka sa palayan sa probinsya uh, makikita mo yung pag maganda yung tanim na pare-parehas alam mo walang weeds yan pero pag na, na, nasa kanan pag nakita mo uh, bako-bako yung tanim na uh, alam mo may tumubo diyan ng mga weeds pero Uh, it looks like the same parang ano pa rin para pa rin siyang palay no uh, actually nung i did some research about the weeds ang um, ang weeds actually nakakasira siya sa pananim it, it, sa, sa Australian research nasa 1.5 billion a year yung activity nila in just controlling the weeds no sa mga agriculture and uh, ang daming uh, isa ito sa mga reason kung bakit humihina yung harvest no ito mga weeds uh, they uh, they because they yung mga ano yung mga pagtubo nila it, it con- compete the nutrients na nakukuha ng 
ng wheat or ng mga palay, for example. Sa time ni Jesus Christ, uh, yung agriculture, uh, uh, marami mga tao at, at that time na uh, nagdedepende talaga sa ano sa quality ng mga ani nila. So if there's someone, an enemy sowing seed would have sabotage a business. Malaking ano yun, maging dagok sa business if someone would sabotage and plant a weeds within the within the, the field of uh, wheat. No? But uh, sabi nga ni Jesus, instead of tearing out the wheat with the tears, the landowner in this parable wisely waited until the harvest. So sa, sa story ni Jesus Christ, uh, usually may, may weeding time kasi yan. Eh. Ibig sa palayan, may weeding time yan. Ibig sabihin, binubunot yung mga weeds. But this example of Jesus Christ means another thing, no? another lesson or uh, meant a related to a kingdom story. No? So here, Jesus allowed them to grow together after harvesting the whole field. The tares would be separated and burned while the wheat would be saved in the barns. So ito yung explanation ng uh, the parable of the weeds. And this is very important. No? So in verse 36, sabi dito, Then he left the crowd and went into the house. His disciple came to him and said, Explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field. So nung binigay ni Jesus tong uh, parable na to sa mga tao, uh, which always describe the kingdom of God, Uh, hindi niya na ina-explain sa mga tao, ina-explain lang niya sa mga disciples. So, when you are, hindi naman tayo yung first discipline na itong parable. So, siyempre, kung ikaw yung original nakiki- nakikinig doon, you might be entertained by the story of Jesus, but you don't know exactly what's the story behind. But for us, we are blessed na ngayon alam natin yung story, di ba? In verse 37, he answered, The one who sowed the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world, and the good seed stands for the people of, for, of the kingdom. The weeds are the people of the evil one, and the enemy who sows them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the harvesters are angels. As the weeds are pulled up and burned in the fire, so it will be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send out his angels, and they will weed out of his kingdom, everything that causes sin and all who do evil. They will throw them into the blazing furnace where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. Whoever has ears, let them hear. So ito yung metaphor ng, ng, uh, ng uh, parable of the witness story na snare ni Jesus Christ. The sower is the son of man, si Jesus The field, so yung field daw, yung tinatamnan is yung the world. Yun ang explanation ni dito. The good seed or the wheat is the people of God and the weeds, the people of evil one. So may mga tao din yung si Satan or enemy, the devil or Satan. Harvest, end of the age, judgment day, and the harvester are the angels. That's in Matthew chapter 24. 30 to 31, the Galatians 14 to 14 to 15. So, uh, uh, itong, ano, itong uh, metaphor na to, it gives us a better understanding what Jesus uh, shared in the story. No? So, uh, yung ano pala yung field, uh, some of this, uh, yung field, Uh, ina-associate nila yung church but the Bible says here that uh, si Jesus sabi niya yung field is the world where people uh, grow together like wheat and, te- uh, wheat and tares or wheat and weeds di ba? na God allows us to grow in a sense whether we grow as a wheat or we grow as a weeds no? so later on uh, the angels will do the harvest The sowers, Jesus, uh, the servant asked him, do you want us to go uh, pull them up? No, no, he answered, because while you are pulling the weeds, you may uproot the wheat with them. So, uh, maganda naman yung intention ng mga servants because uh, they care for the good seeds, di ba? And uh, kapag sa pananim, uh, you would like, to, you don't want to see 
yung mga weeds doon no or yung mga tears doon sa pananim mo you wanted to pull them up para hindi apektado yung apektado yung mga yung mga pananim yung mga good na good uh, seed however uh, dito uh, si, si si Jesus Christ or the son of man decided to let them grow together no Uh, only si Jesus lang uh, is the one who can distinguish all kinds of weeds and wits no so so hal- ha- i'm sure that the servants no na na, na 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 ano naman nila na identify nila yung pag sa mga pananim halata naman kung ano yung weeds at saka yung yung uh, wheat but in reality ito yung itsura nung ano ito yung itsura nung pears So it looks the same as the wheat, no? Ayan yung wheat, yung tears, ganyan din siya tumubo para din siyang ano, para din siyang wheat, parang identical talaga, no? So you wouldn't want you wouldn't know who's really uh, in a sense sa atin as disciple as a people of God living in this world. It's hard to identify sino yung wheat at sino yung tares or sino yung weeds, di ba? Para pa, parehas lang ano eh, parehas lang parang pare, parehas lang eh. But later on, alam ni Jesus Christ kung sino yung mga wheat at saka sino yung mga yung mga weeds, no? Uh, how does this parable of the weeds apply to us? So let them both Grow together until the harvest. At the time, I will tell the harvester, first collect the weeds and tie them up in bundles to be burned. Then gather the wheat and bring into my barn. So, ang function natin, uh, yun nga, was compared to a plant that will grow in time. So, si Jesus Christ, hinahayaan, whether you like it or not, whether I like it or not, mag-grow ako. Yan, di ba? That, yan talaga ang totoo mag-grow tayo but there are we have to ano this is a this is a good assessment for us no kasi uh, how are how are we growing ba how are we growing are we growing as a wheat or as a weed no but uh, do naman sa sinabi ni Jesus Christ the The, the the people of God will shine like the brightness of heaven. So, uh, wheat is also identified with the fruit of the Spirit in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 to 24. Ang sabi doon, but uh, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and, and self-control. No? Ito yung mga kailangan natin na ipag-grow talaga as wheat. And so ito yung comparison ng ano ng sa rice naman nakita mo yung comparison ng rice grain at saka yung yung tears ito yung mga yung mga ano mga naka naka ano naman naka nakadikit ng mga ito yung pag nagte-treasure so lumilipad lang yung mga tears na sineseparate sa mga sa mga rice grain So makikita niyo yan dito sa probinsya kapag uh, kapag uh, ano kapag uh, nagte-treasure or nag-aani na yung mga mga farmers. Uh, in, in verse 40 as the weeds are pulled up and burned in the fire so it will be at the end of the age. The son of man will send out his angels and they will weed out of his kingdom everything that causes to sin and all who do evil. Take note of this no. The weed with out of his kingdom everything that causes sin and all who do evil so uh, you you would know that in uh, everything that causes sin in Matthew chapter 18 verse 6 to 7 first corinthians chapter 8 verse 11 to 13 all who do evil in galatians chapter 5 verse 19 uh, we all know that uh, yung yung scripture about um, uh, those who cannot enter the kingdom of god Uh, followed by the fruit of the spirit. So there is a warning in this uh, parable actually na sinasabi ni Jesus Christ that uh, but the good news is 
for those who are faithful to God, uh, ang awesome doon is that you will shine like the brightness of heaven. Diba? Ayan nga, sabi dito, uh, in verse 43, then the righteous will shine like the, the sun in the kingdom of their father, whoever has ears, let them hear. So this is uh, exactly what in Daniel's uh, has been said, no? in Daniel chapter 12, verse 33, those who are wise will shine like the brightness of heavens and those who lead many to righteous, righteousness like the stars forever and ever. And uh, can you imagine, di ba, tinitingnan lang natin yung, yung, yung brightness nung sun and hindi na tayo makatitig, makatitig sa ano, hindi na tayo makatitig sa, sa sun, sa sobrang silaw, di ba? And uh, when you look at the stars in heaven, uh, it's amazing. Di ba? Na- Nakaka-amaze parati kapag dito sa probinsya, kapag tumingala ka sa langit, lalo na kapag wala, na yung, wala yung mga ulap, nakaka-amaze lang talaga yung mga stars. And we are being compared to that, mga kapatid. We should be encouraged na, na yung, yung mga followers of Jesus are compared to a, to, to, to a sun or the stars that bright, that that shines like the brightness of heavens. Ganun daw tayo. We, um, pag tumingin ka sa langit, it's so visible, attractive siya, magnificent, amazing yung, uh, we can praise God just seeing the stars in heaven. And it's just amazing how we can be as we grow in the Lord. Di ba? As we grow uh the fruit of the spirit in us ganun daw ang pwede mangyari sa atin amen mga kapatid so that's the the parable of the weeds in conclusion grow as wheat not as weeds be a good seed that produces crops and let the holy spirit in you produces its fruit so ayun mga kapatid uh, i hope na 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 ano natin intindihan natin tong parable of the weeds so that's it. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, 